You probably rely on cold boxes and vaccine carriers almost every day, whether you're transporting vaccines or storing them temporarily. Both types of insulated containers are lined with prepared water packs and protect vaccines from extreme and damaging heat or cold. Cold boxes are larger than vaccine carriers. Not only do they carry more vaccines and diluents, they can also hold more water packs and store vaccines for a longer period. They are often used to transport larger or longer vaccine shipments or to store vaccines if there is a power outage, the refrigerator breaks down or is being defrosted. And they may be used to store frozen water packs such as during an emergency or before a campaign. Vaccine carriers typically hold four water packs. These smaller containers are most often used for outreach sessions. They may also be used for short-term storage of vaccines. So how do you choose which model to use? There are two main things to consider when choosing the correct model. The vaccine and diluent storage capacity needed for the supply period and the cold or cool life required for the maximum storage time, including transport time. To determine the right size container or correct storage capacity, you will need to know the volume of the vaccines and diluents you are packing. Say you are packing 20 vials of a vaccine for an outreach session. Each vial has 10 doses, and each dose has a packed volume of 2.5 cubic centimeters. Multiply the volume of one dose by the number of doses you are packing. Next, convert that number to liters, since a container's storage capacity is listed in liters. Then, compare that volume to the storage capacity of your facility's available vaccine carriers. If you do not know the storage capacity of your containers, look on the inside lid or look up the container's vaccine storage capacity in the current PQS catalog. When choosing a passive container, size is not the only factor. It must also be able to keep the vaccines and diluents at the right temperature for the maximum storage time, including transport time. A vaccine container's cold life is how long the closed container lined with frozen ice packs can maintain a temperature below 10 degrees Celsius while at a constant ambient temperature of 43 degrees Celsius. Current pre-qualified cold boxes have a maximum cold life of two to seven days. Vaccine carriers have a cold life between 18 and 50 hours. A vaccine container's cool life is how long the closed container, lined with cool water packs that have been stored in the refrigerator, can maintain a temperature below 20 degrees Celsius while at a constant ambient temperature of 43 degrees Celsius. Current pre-qualified cold boxes have a maximum cool life of 12 hours to 2 days. Vaccine carriers have a cool life between 3 and 18 hours. There are two other considerations when choosing a vaccine carrier or cold box. If you are selecting a cold box, you will want to make sure you have the correct size and number of water packs for the cold box model exactly as specified by the manufacturer. If you are selecting a vaccine carrier, think about how you are traveling. For example, you will have different requirements for a vaccine carrier you will carry on foot and one you will carry on the back of a motorcycle. Now you know the things to consider when choosing a passive container.